was an incident that happened on my like last project yeah. that I was like filming. Not last, but we were actually shooting uh, outstation okay. in uh, this place. I mean, at that time when when I like when we, when we first got to Trunganu, like the place that we moved into was. It was by. It was in front of the beach. Okay. So we were all staying like there for one month. It was like a resort, mm-hmm. right in front of the beach. So even before we got there, like I heard things like you know, um, don't go out at night by yourself, stuff like that, because there are things that kind of like wander along the mm-hmm. beach. Mm-hmm. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Sure, whatever. She's um, like, hey, I'm that thing. She's that, that character. <laughs> she's that character in a horror film. Yeah, I was like, um, because it's never happened to me, sure. you know. So yeah, yeah. it's just, yeah. Um, until uh, I had like one of my classmates. She she showed up on set one day and she was like bawling her eyes out. She oh. was crying. She was literally like in a state of shock. Like you could see, like it, it was as if. She saw a ghost, basically. Mm, right. And I guess by that time, the director, the crew, everyone kind of knew what happened because they were there the night before when she saw this thing, yeah. which I'll get, tell mm, you what, sure, what it sure, is sure. in a little bit. And um, so she was crying and the director and the ca- and the crew, the cast, everybody, we all kind of gathered in a circle. And um, we were say- they-, they were saying prayers. Right. Just telling us to, you know, be careful, and they were saying a lot of like doana mm. um, to protect us, I guess, from these yeah. other entities yeah. and, and stuff like that. And after that happened, I was like, hey, I went, I went up to her, and I was like, what happened? And she said that it was about midnight the night before, and she was walking along the corridor by herself. Um, because we all stayed like you know like pretty much beside each other mm-hmm. and it was a re- pre- pretty old building so it d- it it did look pretty creepy mm. and she said that she she saw a pochong mm. so first pochong story yeah she saw a pochong mm. and um it was uh, this thing was like by the the tree and literally she said it was right next to the gym and the scary thing is my room was right next to the gym oh shit so like when she said that like my my hair was standing out I was like what sorry what and she said like it was this thing it was all white like black face and just like staring at her damn yeah and so it was all in the pochong get up yeah yeah, yeah. basically the, the, well, we know what pochong looks like pochong yeah. Yeah. thing get up and uh, and um, I guess like everyone was in shock and I, uh, from, from what I heard I think the night that happened I think something was a kind of like she was not herself as well that night right. the, um, the crew actually from what I heard I think they had to go to her room or something and like say some prayers to, to get her to like stop acting a little bit like crazy I wasn't there but this is what I heard yeah. so you they, believe she was possessed in some way I guess. Yeah. I guess uh, so. Like possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like delirious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, this was like the beginning of our like one month stay in Trinkanu. So you can imagine how scared we were from 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 thinking like, oh, it's so cool that we're, that we're going to be here on the beach mm. to like, oh my right. God, I'm not going to open the window. I'm th- the sliding doors at night anymore because we could like, we could open the sliding door and you literally, you see the, the, the waves and stuff like that. So after that, no one walked alone. Everyone always, close the curtain. I would always close the curtain at night. I never dare open the curtain just in case I see something yeah, that yeah. I didn't want to see. So you, your all of your views were at the beach, the, the ocean. Yeah, yeah. We're all right in front. It was a beach resort. So interesting. Right. Okay. So wow. you open the sliding door, you see the beach and and she literally saw the the pochong, like, can I even say that word? Yes. Because she was scared to say that word. It's almost word like a pochong? word that cannot be said. Oh, I think um, it's okay. If you're I'm okay. more scared of when you say the kapun word. <laughs> <laughs> we call it kapun. Yeah. So I'm curious, is has the, have, did you guys already start shooting or is this before? We were already shooting. We were already shooting. Yeah. We just so started. This is the beginning of first few days of shooting this happened. Yeah, maybe I think the first week, maybe. So my next question is, yeah. what was the genre of the, of the what your shoot was? Rom com. Oh. <laughs> I had yep. a feeling. Romantic it's, comedy. Of course, a pocho. Yeah. <laughs> During one's waiting, yeah. it's like let's 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 spice things up on this shoot. Yeah. Oh God. And, and like the funny thing is, not not really funny, but uh, after we all heard her story, my I had another friend who shared her experience with a pocho. Oh. So it was like, like not, oh, not the same place. Not the same. Oh, okay. Not the same. Um, uh, she told me that um. There was one time she felt really sick mm. and she didn't know 
what uh, was causing her to be really sick because she was taking like medication from the doctor but she wasn't feeling uh, any, any better even after medication oh. and so she kind of suspected it was something else yes. or something like that yeah, yeah. so she she told me that she went to like a, a doctor I don't, I don't want to say I, like a bomo I don't remember if she said bomo I don't want to just anyhow say it but she went to some sort maybe it was like a bomo la. Hmm, maybe. Like, or a healer uh, yeah. yeah healer and the healer said that the reason why she was not feeling good was because there was a, a pochong that attached uh, itself to her. Oh. Mm. Yeah, like took a liking to her and attached itself to her. I didn't know pochong could. I'll be honest, I didn't know pochong could do that. Okay, yeah. That's the first time we've heard. Yeah, I didn't know they attached themselves. Yeah, yeah and um, so pretty much was following her everywhere and she said that <laughs> this is the funny part. This is actually a bit funny. The pochong found her at Mid Valley Mall. 